Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is my reading for my air signs. We're going to get right on to y'all reading. But before I do that, please take a moment to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, y'all. Like and leave me some comments. With that being said, let's get into your reading. The first card you have is the alien card, y'all. Now, this is a new deck, and it's called... The alien is actually the hermit card. We know the hermit card talks about going inside yourself, analyzing things in your life, figuring some things out, and then you're coming back out. But in the book, let me just tell you, it's so beautiful for what the alien is saying here and I just want y'all to hear it says you have to know your worth you are perfect the way you are be free seek answers within you go deeper and understand more of the universe mm -hmm. take the time to do something you've never done before and if this were to come out in reverse I'm just gonna tell you guys if it were to it was saying, stop hiding. Step out from your hibernation and engage with others. Help those around you. Transform. Bring your ideas into the world. Hello, somebody. With that being said, I'm really loving this deck. That being said, keeping it right along for you, Ashlands. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Okay. You have the Ace of Cups. So this talks about new exciting love, new beginnings, things of that sort. You also have the World card. So definitely things are changing within your world here. The Moon card, you're going to receive clarity in regard to some things. Anything that's done in the dark will come to the light. If somebody's lying to you, deceiving you, um, cheating on you, it's going to come to the light. Don't worry. Um, air signs, you're very intuitive. You think a lot, so you figure things out all the time. Um, you have the Ace of Swords here. Definitely you have a lot on your mind here with the Ace of Swords, but there's going to be some new beginnings. You're going to be speaking your mind, speaking your truth. You have the Queen of Swords. Definitely Queen of Swords. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. If it's on her mind, she's going to say it. And don't have a problem to cut you in the meantime. Hello, my air signs. With that being said, the Knight of Cups. Anything you're hoping to wish for at this time to come to fruition. But yeah, for some of you, it's still bounded here. But you know what? This woman is bounded, but you know what? She can get out if she wants to. This is like in her mind. You know, your mind can play tricks on you as well. But you know, if you're in this state, please come out. Don't stay in there. Don't be bounded. Figure things out and come out. Mm -hmm. You have the Ten of Wands. So definitely, yes, sometimes you have hard times. Yes, but you know what? The Ten of Wands is the ending. You're going to be getting a new cycle soon. You have the Three of Cups here. Three of Cups talks about celebrations and having fun and smiling, have a good time. But then it could talk about mm, third-party situations. But we're not going to go there today. Today is Friday. I'm going to keep it like it is. But if it is and you are with somebody else, that's your business. <laughs> you the Queen of Cups. This is a water sign woman. Very mature, very intuitive. Could be your best friend. She could be a Scorpio. That's what I think the Queen of Cups is. Mm -hmm. And look here, you guys. You got the Tempest card. Definitely, there's going to be some balance for you guys. Your life is definitely going to be balancing out. Please like, subscribe, come into my channel. My air signs. Please tell people about Miss Bless. Thank you.